I need some everyday footage about grandparents, so I've decided to spend Thursday afternoon following them around. You hear that? She's laughing as she's watching TV. But maybe Mom and I to watch the same shows. Good afternoon. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Have you seen The Visit, the new film by M. Night Shyamalan? And if you have, did you like it? Because, as you probably know, I didn't like it at all. But apparently, I'm out of step with many other cinema goers. Now, as far as M. Night Shyamalan's career is concerned, I've been variable in my praise. I liked Sixth Sense, I loved Unbreakable, I defended Signs, I championed The Village, I lost all hope with Lady in the Water, I tried but failed to like The Happening, I gawped in disbelief at The Last Airbender, and I lost hope all over again with After Earth. On average, however, I have defended Shyamalan more than I have attacked him, which made it a surprise for me that I disliked the visit as much as I did. The story, as you probably know, two kids go to stay with their grandparents, they're making a film, so much shaky cam footage, and it quickly becomes apparent that what we're doing is some kind of fairy tale story gone bad. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the shaky cam home footage thing has been done to death. The fairy tale stuff was done better in The Village. The twist ending was done better in The Sixth Sense. And as for cute little Ed Oxenbold's comedy rapping, well, frankly, I wanted to scrape my ears off with a cheese grater. However, the film cost a mere $5 million and has pretty much cleaned up at the box office. In fact, in terms of what it cost to what it's made, it's one of Shyamalan's most successful movies. Now, initially, I put this success down to the enthusiasm of people who actually don't know any better, who probably haven't seen many of the films from which it's ripped off, perhaps haven't seen all of Shyamalan's previous movies. However, it turns out that Mark Miller, the creator of Kick-Ass and somebody of whom I'm a huge fan, is also a fan of The Visit. He went on Twitter to say that he thought it was a really interesting movie, that he was really involved with the characters, that he liked the blend of comedy and horror, and, most importantly, that he found the children wholly sympathetic and believable. Now, I have to confess, I'm taken aback by Miller's comments, but I respect him enough to think he may well be onto something. This doesn't mean I like The Visit, and it also doesn't mean that I'm going to go back and watch it again. I mean, life is very, very short, although I probably will watch it again when it comes out on DVD. But it comes down to this, how much does it matter in the end whether a critic agrees with or disagrees with what you think? See, I think in the end the only thing that's important is this, you have to be honest about your response. Reading some other reactions to the visit, there's a part of me that thinks, well, maybe there's a whole film there that I simply missed, but I'd be lying if I told you I liked the movie, and that's something I'm not going to do. Would you mind getting inside the oven to clean it? Stop! Now! Stop! 